Rob Zilla. No, not Harley. Yeah, Rob is here. What up, world? Thanks, Hola. everybody, for joining us. I know we got the chat going. I'm going to be trying to play double duty here, chatting with Rob about his work, about everything he does, while he is going to be drawing like his life depended on it, because we're going to try and make a really cool portrait of oh, a guy we know. That's yeah. a guy. Yeah, I think it's a guy. we're familiar with him. Yeah, he's lost all his hair in a tragic accident where he rescued all these orphans from a burning building. That's the story I heard. He's a real hero. Yeah. Um, he likes to make Photoshop brushes. We're talking about me. Yeah, Kyle Webster. And I'm really honored that uh, Rob would choose to do a little drawing of me today. So thank you, Rob. And thanks, everybody, for joining us in the chat. I'm going to be trying to pay attention here and get some questions when we get them and some comments. We have people from all over the world joining us. This is really cool. Uh, so Rob is working in Adobe Draw. Illustrator Draw CC. Yeah. That's my, that's my playground right now. Well, iPad app, if you're not familiar with it, vector-based drawing app, which is extremely fun. And he's been running some workshops here at Off that have been very successful. Um, I've been doing some workshops with Adobe Photoshop Sketch, so we've had a really good time so far. This is day three. We still managed to put some sleep in there, a little bit. A little but bit. This has been a pretty crazy uh, festival. If you've never been to Off, I recommend you have to come to Barcelona and do this. It's phenomenal. Definitely got to come check it out. Right. So Rob, tell me a little bit about what you're going to do here. Um, I'm going to be doing a portrait of you. At first, we had this big elaborate <laughs> idea of just playing off a conversation that we had. We started calling right. you Mr. Brush. Right. And then from there, um, calling you a brush wizard. And then automatically, I started thinking Hogwarts or break bills if you watch The Magicians. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, okay, this would be a crazy idea. Let's, let's draw Kyle as a brush wizard. So yeah. you can go ahead and symbolize exactly what it is that you do. That's and very from kind. there, we're going to actually do some application. We're going to apply that illustration to a pair of socks. Yes. This has been very popular yes. off. Adobe has a booth the where you right can there. make socks with your original artwork. People are sitting down. They're using Photoshop. They're using Sketch. They're using Draw. And they are making socks. This is pretty interesting. So we are going to, in a very limited amount of time, very limited, make some socks. All right. So the challenge is on. The shot clock's going, and let's right. get busy. So you all will see on your screen. We've got uh, Rob drawing right here in Adobe Illustrator Draw on the iPad, and I'm going to be looking at the chat here for a second. See, we got people being welcomed. Thanks. We have Tim here as usual. Thank you, Tim. What up, Tim? Managing the chats. Awesome. Um, yes. What custom socks? Yes, custom socks. Who who don't? You know, this is amazing. So I made a pair of socks yesterday for my family. I drew my son, my daughter, my wife, and myself. And um, then I had a pair of socks that was graciously donated to me by one of the amazing creative residents we have at Adobe. Oh, yeah. That uh, was Nadine. Thank you, Nadine. Um, so a lot of people now I can see, I'm looking over here at the booth. It's always full, so it's a little bit hard to sneak in there. If you're at the Off Festival and want to make socks, this is your last opportunity. It's the third day. So you got to jump in there because it takes some time to print them, of course. Yes. We're going to try and do like a super fast printing job, though, and see if this works out. We're going to be in an express lane. This line art looks amazing already. So Rob's already done his blue line art. Look at that. Crazy beautiful. Yeah, so it's so like you're working in a bit of a traditional way using yeah. digital software here because a lot of comic book artists, um, they will work with blue line. This was, used to be called non-photo blue pencil or non-repro blue. Mm -hmm. It was a specific color of blue that when you used it, you could photocopy it after you did your line work and the blue would not photocopy. So you just have that beautiful, clean black line art ready to go to print or to coloring, I guess, depending on what you're doing. Yes. Um, so it's cool. Now, why do you choose to actually work in that blue? Is that just a carryover from that tradition? Yeah, it's a carryover from that. I'm mm -hmm. paying homage, so to speak. Nice. Um, for those of you who use Photoshop, you might remember that I actually created a couple of non-photo blue pencils, and that was me just kind of paying tribute to that as well. It's not necessary in Photoshop. You can simply turn off a layer if you work in two layers. But people do like drawing with that tool, so we keep it in there. Um, let's see. People say, how come the mini iPad today, Rob? Rob, why the mini iPad? Traveling. OK. The only thing I brought was a carry-on with me, so. And Rob is coming to us from the DC area, but technically from Maryland, correct? Yes, Southern Maryland. All right. Northern and I'm here from North Carolina, so we're both coming to you from the South. And those of you who've never been to the Southeast of the United States, come visit. Pretty area. We're nice people, I promise. Yeah, look us up. <laughs> <laughs> easy for us to say, right? Yeah, easy, easy. 
Easy we're not going to we're not going to look at the comments about our own uh, personal. Yeah, we're not going to look and see what other people say. Yeah, like they'll be like, yeah, right. So, and I've got an iPad Pro here, and in a minute, um, if we can see how far Rob gets along with this drawing, no pressure, Rob. I was thinking I might, if there's time, do a really fast caricature of Rob in sketch. But we're just throwing that out there as a maybe because I want to make sure that Rob does a great job with his work. Yeah, because it's of you. Yeah. Now, uh, tell us a little bit while you're drawing, if you don't mind, about some of the recent projects you've been doing. There have been some very amazing sports-related drawings that Rob's been doing some, for some properties you may or may not be aware of or yeah. have heard of. Oh, man. Um, the last one was Xbox. Xbox. I've never heard of it, Rob. Tell never me what that is. Xbox? What's, what's Xbox? Xbox is a gaming console oh. made by Microsoft Corporation. Microsoft. So I had an opportunity to um, do the custom design Xbox One for the release of the Black Panther movie. So that's kind of a big deal. Yeah. If you've not seen this, how can people find this online and see this artwork? Um, go to Xbox Sweeps mm -hmm. um, dot com, and you can have a chance to win one of the five that were produced. Oh, Xbox Sweeps dot com. Get some original Robzilla art on your yeah. Xbox. That sounds pretty amazing. Or just simply look up Black Panther Xbox One. Okay. And, um, you can find that console, pictures of it. Might even find an interview of my big head somewhere on there. There's an interview with you. Yeah. Talking about the work? Talking about the work, what I put into it, and um, why I chose the final design that I chose. Brilliant. So um, I finally saw Black Panther on the plane flying over here. Mm -hmm. I was a little late to the party, but I'm glad to say it uh, lived up to the hype. It was pretty amazing. And it made me want to draw Black Panther. So oh. I will do that on the plane ride back. back. <laughs> yeah. I'll be doing a little Black Panther art. And maybe I'll post that on Twitter or something like that. I never freeze. Yeah, right, exactly. But he did freeze. Yeah, he did yeah. freeze. Oh, sorry, we don't give anything away for people who haven't seen it yet. But I think the whole world oh, has pretty much late. seen this movie. Yeah, they're too late. Yeah. We don't um, care. So we also have uh, somebody saying, look at that eye. People are impressed with your eye already, the drawing. Look how fast he's burning through this line art, guys. This is why it's important to do a sketch. I don't understand people who just dive right in and don't sketch, even though I might attempt to do that later. Um, you've really got to set yourself up for success. The sketch is really the, the whole reason for this. It's the foundation of the whole entire thing. Exactly. It gives you that chance, too, to modify, to make changes. When you get to the line art for final inking, if you're making a lot of changes at that stage, maybe your sketch wasn't quite cutting the mustard. So I would say spend more time on the sketch, and then the line work just kind of falls into place. At least that's my strategy, and I think it works pretty well. And I've talked to a lot of other artists. They feel the same way. Yeah. So um, how do you feel about drawing in Draw? What's the responsiveness like? How does it feel? Is it similar to Illustrator or different? Uh, it's a totally different monster, but mm -hmm. with the same body parts. What do you think is different about it in the terms of the actual feel of drawing? Um, it's more organic. Yeah. Um, I'm not clicking a mouse around. Right. I'm not dragging Bezier curves and anchor points and right. things of that nature. I'm just doing drawing in its purest form, but it's just with vectors. Yeah. And the brush selection is pretty good. It's like you don't need much more than what's already there. You've got a thick to thin sort of brushy brush there, right? But I do wish that halftone brush you had was on here. Well, maybe we can figure that out. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to talk one. to some engineers at Adobe about that. I could definitely kill the game with that. So I've been drawing in, um, in Draw as well. Uh -huh. And I really hadn't been giving it much time up until uh, very recently. And what I love about drawing in it is it feels to me like how it used to feel to draw in Adobe Animate which was formerly Flash. Mm -hmm. I used to do a lot of drawing in Flash, actually. It was a, an application that I felt just felt right when you were drawing with vectors. And um, there was a snappiness to it that I really love. And I found that exact same feel, especially using the brush that you're using right now, Rob. Um, using this brush and drawing in uh, Draw gave me a really similar feel. And it was extremely comfortable. It's kind of intuitive, just, just felt right with my hand. So I, was, I recommend for those of you who want to do this kind of line art, give it a shot. Yeah, I was a huge advocate for this brush. Um, yeah. Back in the days, this brush did not exist. As a oh. matter of fact, it was this brush right here. Oh my gosh. So we would have to manually go in. Oh my gosh, no way. And taper and the ends the... of all of our lines. Yeah. So um, basically hit Adobe up and say, yo, what's the deal? Yeah. Can we get something that can move fluid with what we're trying to do? And so what we're saying here is we have you to thank not for me, this fantastic me and some brush. other folks. Yeah. <laughs> Let's throw Brian Yap in that mix, too. Oh, I love Brian. Okay. Yeah. But when that taper brush came out, man, oh, man, it saved me an hour and a half. Changed the game right hours. there. three hours, yeah, on, on some of the stuff that I was trying to do at the time. Excellent. 
All right, so let's see. People say, how do you do that green sketch? How do you do that green sketch? I think, I think the question really is from Nirmal, they're asking, how is it that you were able to make the blue line drawing underneath? Were you also creating that in, um, in draw or was that done in sketch? It can be done in either or. Um, okay. I do it in draw because um, I don't have to go over the lines too many times. And what I do is, we got these brush, we got these brush, and we got this brush menu here. Mm -hmm. um, the second one is the opacity. I'll go ahead and I'll select blue. that thing blue right there. Yeah, and I will drop the opacity down to probably like twenty-five. There's your answer. Excellent. I, I share it. I mean, it's up to you to create with it, but I'll yeah. share it. So that way, when I'm working on here. I can, I can overlap and it gives me the same quality as going over and over again with the pencil, just minus the textures. Right. Super cool stuff. Excellent, okay. So I hope that answers your question and that explains how we got that blue line art in there and why it has that certain quality to it, like a pencil, because Rob sets the flow really low and then when he's drawing with it repeatedly, making a mark over an existing mark, it's gonna darken that mark. Hope that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Tim said he thinks he imported it from Adobe Sketch, so now we know that's actually not the process. It was all done in draw, but you could absolutely do it that way. You could use the pencil yep. in Adobe Sketch. There's a, there's a built-in pencil in Sketch that's quite nice yes. to draw with. If you like drawing with Photoshop brushes that are pencils as well, from your um, Kyle brush library, for example, you can import those directly into Sketch as well. And to do that, you create a library. And in Photoshop, if you've never used libraries before, just go to Window and select Libraries. You can call the library whatever you like, and you can simply drag and drop a brush from your brushes panel directly onto the library, and it will add it. And the cool thing is it'll sync it immediately so that when next time you open Sketch, you can actually go to that library and load those brushes and start drawing with them right away. So the only disclaimer I always have to give is if you're using Photoshop and you like to use mixer brushes of any kind, or smudge tools, or eraser tools, those will not get imported into Sketch. Make sure you're only importing normal brush files, okay? Standard brushes is what you want to call them. And that means you could use over a thousand of the brushes from my li library, for example, directly into Sketch. And my recommendation, too, is to make smaller libraries. That's what I do. I'll do maybe 15 or 20 brushes at the most, sometimes 30 at the very most, into a library. I'll import those, and then I'll use them in Sketch. And anytime I want to switch out to some other library, I'll just switch to libraries, and it loads them right away. Super dope. So um, we have a comment that says, wow, I like this guy. Cool. Thank you. So that's a, there you go. I like him too. Yeah, I like, I like the, that person who said that too. Yeah. Made my whole vacation right there. <laughs> or let's say like Jessica uh, Hish made my whole entire comp, complications? She makes conference and vacation together? She said conference. She said, I'm on confrication. Confrication. Yeah, I can't remember the word, but she made up a word again. She does that a lot. Yes. A lot of people borrowed her design illustrator word for years to oh. describe what they do for a living. I think I might do that too. Yeah. Um, confrontation. Confrontation. That's what it was. Great. Confrontation. Uh, let's see. Massimiliano says, I want to thank you, Robert. I got a poster from Adobe Live drawn by you, and it was Mr. T with a rose. Pity Very fool. cool. Thanks again. <laughs> Pity fool. So you got a poster of Lawrence. Exactly. He's going to beat me up one day. No, he's not. He's going to love you. Um, and that comment, by the way, somebody who's being complimentary is from Jaime Hernandez from Florida. Oh, cool. I was down there recently in the um, Orlando area. Oh, cool. Yeah, I gave a speech at their spot showcase. Met oh, some nice. amazing students, man. Yeah. Um, wonderful work, man. I'm glad I'm not in college anymore because I had to compete with them. I felt that way recently at a trip to SVA. I saw some student work from the graduate students um, who were students of one of my uh, colleagues at Adobe, Matthew Richmond. And we were looking at some portfolios and the quality of the work was outstanding and a little intimidating. Shout out to Matt Richmond. Yeah. I ain't seen my man in a long time. Oh, he's great. Yeah. I have the privilege of working with him pretty frequently, as well as on some top secret new Adobe stuff. Which I can't talk about, Ooh. but we're very excited about. Let's talk after. Let's talk after. Yeah, the we'll feed. talk after. Yeah, this. let's talk after that. Um, also, uh, Liam, Liam, or I think I say Liam. Liam Barr has mentioned a very cool feature, which is um, available in both Draw and Sketch, which is to have several brushes visible at all times, 
And what I love about this in uh, both applications is that you can pre-assign a color or certain behaviors to it so that you can, make, let's say you want to use one brush but you want to have three colors in your palette that you're working with all the time, you can simply make three of those brushes, the same brush, but change the color. And then those brushes will always be available to you so you don't have to actually use the color picker. You can just collect it. Yeah, thanks man, you're demonstrating this in real time while we're doing it. Ta-da! So now we've got three colors assigned to the same brush. Yep, so this is a pretty and cool different opacities. Oh yeah, that's right. Different so different opacity. properties, same brush. Yeah. This is a pretty cool feature. So it's almost like one, two, three, four, five. Yes. What do you call five twins together? Uh, Centuplets? Yeah, whatever. Centuplets, but they look know. the same, but they all have different characteristics. Right. I've never met Centuplets. We're going to call them that, by the way. It's probably I never wrong. met them at the same time. <laughs> you really know some people who are siblings that are five? We probably all do. We just <laughs> never met there. Like, I didn't know you were a twin. I am a twin. I'm a yeah. fraternal twin. Shout out to my brother Colin, who just got a big promotion. I'm very proud of him, very excited for him. He's going to be an associate dean at the University of South Carolina. So, Oh, USC? Yeah, big yeah, deal. Sister big graduated deal. from there. My brother is a smart dude, who, by the way, can draw very well, uh -huh. but just never really like pursued it. Um, in fact, I would argue he has much more natural drawing ability than I do but he was more interested in other stuff, so whatever. That's generally the case, too. That happens. But that guy's, he's got skills. Uh, let's see here. All right, I'm gonna scroll down and look at some of these chat comments. Rob. Yo. Do you use ever the flat, the chisel, or the terminal brushes, or are you all about this brush? Uh, I do use the flat brushes, and I do use the round. I use my flat brushes because I like for my glares to have a rectilinear type feel to them. Yep. So I use my flat brushes for that. Okay. And um, also if I'm doing like mimicking um, line work from like a graffiti marker. Okay. And now that, they've, now that you can rotate, rotate the canvas, there's really not a need for having the pencil rotate, even though that would be kind of dope if my Apple Pencil rotated and I yeah. can yeah. move the chisel around. But um, it allows me to mimic that pretty easily. Nice. Um, I use my round brushes to do my color work. Okay. Which um, hopefully I can do pretty soon. But Maybe uh, we don't even have to get to color. It could just be line art. Yeah. I mean, that would be actually pretty cool. A little stark line art on some socks. I'd be all about that. Yeah, hey. Happy customer. Well, see, I mean, we have, we have a limited amount of time. You're drawing like the wind. This is amazing. You're drawing very fast. Um, I'm not sweating, am I? Like, oh. <laughs> You even put my off bracelet in there? Yeah. Ha, it's my little off bracelet. The only way we can get in this room is with these bracelets. The security here is tight. Tight. Yeah, I tried to get in with an espresso and uh, they were not having it. Yeah, I tried to get in with Starbucks and it was like, no. Mm -mm. Not, not happening. Um, somebody asked which iPad you're using. What size is that? I have the 10.5 version two. All right, there you go. Version two, 10.5. Um, it has a smaller small Vezier on it to give you more real estate. Liam has another question for us. Go. Can Adobe open an online store for custom socks? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know how good the profit margins would be on that um, venture, so I'm not going to make any comments about that. Yeah. I, I have a feeling it might be a break-even enterprise or worse. Yeah. Um, I'm oh. curious about this, though. The next time I'm on a live stream, yeah. if that was a prize. You get what we I'm saying? We could do some socks for a prize. I like that very much. Yeah, in like fact, some custom joints. I'll talk to Michael Shays about getting this amazing sock printing technology um, hooked up at the San Francisco office where a lot of the live streams happen. Um, and maybe that could be a thing. We did actually, a year ago, do a t-shirt where we printed shirts with an amazing t-shirt printer with Paul Tranny and myself. Uh -huh. um, we had other couple of guests there doing live streams and they turned that into um, one of the prizes. And I know they were giving away Adobe pillows recently as well. So there's always a cool giveaway. Yeah, it's always a, a, a dope giveaway here at Adobe. Yeah. I, love, I love Adobe. So if you all have questions for Rob or for me, please throw them up in the chat and we'll try and catch them and answer them for you as well. Again, just to, uh, if you're joining us late, we are actually in Barcelona, a beautiful, beautiful city here in Spain. Yes. For the third day of the off, cons uh, <laughs> I like saying off, conference because there are three F's. Oh, F, F, F. 
And uh, we've had some amazing guests come through for the live streams here, and we also have an amazing guests coming up even later yes. today, yeah. including yeah, say it. one of my design um, heroes, Mr. Stefan Sagmeister. Yes. Who um, was one of, when I was, uh, was still working as a graphic designer at a firm in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where I'm from, uh, we uh, had the privilege of hosting Mr. Sagmeister for a AIGA event. He came and gave a talk. Uh, this was 14 years ago. He was so generous with his time. And we had pizza afterwards, and he was an amazing guy. So I'm looking forward to hopefully meeting him again. I'm sure he won't remember me, but if you're not familiar with uh, Sagmeister's work, check him out online. He and Jessica Walsh at Sagmeister Studio have done incredible, incredible, incredible design work, yes. Some of the most creative stuff I've ever seen out there. He's the reason why I got out of it. Really? Yeah, I can't compete. Dang, man. I can draw. Say don't say that. No, I'm playing. It's a compliment, actually. Yeah. I like the way you're doing that brush. That looks beautiful. Thanks. So the concept here, if you missed it up at the front of this stream, is that Rob is graciously doing a portrait of me. I'm so honored. And because of all the Photoshop brush work I did, he's making me as a brush wizard, a la Harry Potter, which makes me very happy because my daughter's name is Hermione. So hello, Hermione, and hello, Wolfie, and hello, Zonia. I don't know if you're able to watch this stream. It's a little early in the morning for you all. Yeah. Now, I was supposed to bring something on this stream, which is a little stuffed animal. Okay. Named Pusheen. Pusheen. Yeah. What's the story? He likes donuts. I have it in my bag. It's right around the corner. Um, I'm wondering if someone could get it for me. I don't want to step out of frame and be off camera. But I think I could put Pusheen right here to kind of watch us while we're doing the stream. Yeah, you don't um, leave me alone. I'm not going to leave you alone. Yeah, I'll get in is, trouble over here. Is anybody available to get my bag? Is anybody available to get my bag around the corner? I have something in my bag for the stream. Yeah, this is special for me. Um, oh look, they're moving the camera. <laughs> Can I get it? Yeah, okay, I'll stay on camera. So maybe, <laughs> maybe Lee or Gus or somebody could, could bring my bag. It's pretty dope. Lee, I see Lee on there, she's in the chat. Gus bot. All right, so we have some compliments for your portfolio, my friend. Oh, what's going on? Wow. I was on his Behance portfolio. His King LeBron ESPN animated time-lapse illustration is amazing. Thanks. Right? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. I agree with that. I got to watch some of that in my hotel room. And by the way, if you're not checking out um, what Rob is doing, if you can see the GoPro, can we use the GoPro for a second? I want to see if people... Can we get the GoPro camera turned on, folks? There we go. All right, now, if you can, when you're filling with color, mm -hmm. one of the things Rob is able to do in Adobe Draw is he can actually press and hold to do several things. One is to actually remove a shape, and the other thing is to actually fill with color. This is a huge time saver. So he just long pressed on that section that he outlined, and it just removed it from the drawing. This is very cool. And if you have an area that's already been contained, you can simply long press in it, and boom, it fills it with color. Amazing. Love it. Very, very cool feature. Another one of my cool, my, my, my top features of this. Big time saver. I don't have to saver. scrub anymore. Big time saver. Okay, so boom. Um, let's, how much time? How are we doing with time? Somebody said, Kyle's head is too easy to draw. How do you draw somebody with hair? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Rob can draw anything. That, that question... As long as I got a reference, I can draw it. Doesn't matter. Rob can draw hair. Don't worry about that. I'm one Any those, kind of hair, boom, it's done. I'm one of those reference people. It's true, though. I am saving you a little bit of time, aren't I? Yes, a whole gang of time. Yeah. When we do these kinds of streams and things, I always have to wonder how bad the glare is off my head. I'm assuming that with these really professional lights, it's not too bad. But you all can let me know. Somebody said they think they're announcing a new iPad soon. I don't know about that. I'm not in the loop on that. I am generally am, but they must be keeping this very secret because right. I haven't heard anything. We have a question about draw. I believe the answer is no, sorry. I'm just going to read the question now. It says, um, is Adobe Draw available on Windows? Currently, no. This is an, no. This is an iPad app or a, uh, I think, is it available for Android now? It's available for Android. Okay, so we have it for Android as well. But this is a tablet uh, software. This is not for your, um, your PC, and your I, desktop. I think the reason being is because Windows already runs the full version of both Illustrator and Photoshop. Which I think is perfectly rational that we, that yeah. we got. Oh, you're even adding color? Uh, I can. 
Go for it. How much time we got? Uh, it's we're getting there. I don't know. It's um, we're thirty minutes in. We're thirty minutes we're in. Thirty minutes in. And we knew we're supposed to have time to run these to the printer and yeah, show so them to the audience. Yeah, I might not be able to do this. We could skip the color. I don't know. So he's you're long tapping to fill color as yeah. long as the lines are complete. As long as they're complete. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that layer, and I'm gonna show another cool feature. Um, All right, watch what this. Color, what color would you want your socks to be? Oh, um, how about a light blue? Light blue? Yeah. Bingo. So I'm going to open a new layer here, right? Okay. And you can tell where I am on the screen because of these orange circles. Those yes. are my touches. So I added that there. And what I'm going to do on this, on this new layer that I'm going to add, a new draw layer, is I'm going to long press just the layer itself. Okay. And when I long press the layer itself, then the whole entire thing, boom. Sweet. Look at that. Turns, turns to that, that color. So a solid fill right away on the whole layer. Yes. Just with a long tap. Just with a long tap. And you got to make sure that's the first time you make contact on that layer, right? Yeah. Like yeah. if you were to start drawing and then do that. It would not work. Okay, gotcha. You fail. Same, same goes for sketch. Rob is so good at demonstrating all the little tricks. Such Maybe. a great guest on Adobe Live. I agree with that, Rob. Oh, thanks. Whenever Rob is streaming and I'm working from home, I will watch Rob. And sometimes I'll say hello in the comments, but I don't want to disturb him. Is he doing his thing? Nah, not oh, at all. Oh, sweet. This is the way to do it, man. Just a solid blue background and a little bit of a pop of white. Yep. And probably, hopefully, I can get a tiny hint of shadow in there. This is so cool. Such a smart way to do it. And I know that the light was hitting oh, see, off look, of this look, side. Look what he's doing. Highlights. This yeah. is brilliant. This is called thinking on your feet. If you're an illustrator and you have a time crunch, this is how you problem solve. So take note. We got a true professional right here showing us how it's done. Um, oh, thank you, Tim. That's very nice. Liam, don't apologize. Your comments are great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep them coming. Keep them coming, man. Uh, yeah, the reason Rob and I are comfortable and working well together is because we know each other and we've been hanging out. For a long time. Long time. Make it on mobile. And uh, we have a mutual support and fan appreciation club where all we do is... Fanboy. Fanboy each other. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And we met some really great people at this conference, haven't we? Yeah, truly amazing folks. Um, in fact, actually today we were going to have a second guest who actually wound up doing a stream yesterday. Mm -hmm. Percy Chen, who I'm very glad we got to meet. Um, Percy was doing workshops here at OFF. He also did a live stream. If you're not familiar with Percy Chen's work, look up Percy Chen so you can be impressed. He's doing a lot of great work, both on mobile and in desktop environment, um, but really cool stuff. Uh, and we've also met the Creative Residents, yes. who are all extremely impressive people. And I hope that you will check out the Creative Residency. If you yourself are interested in having a year where you can work for a full year, on a personal art project and have Adobe help you do that. They will fund it. They oh will fund gosh. it. You will get, I believe, a lifetime uh, subscription to Creative Cloud, which is insane. And all kinds of other amazing uh, benefits, such as the fact that they are here at the OFF conference. Um, check out the Adobe Creative Residency Program. I will tell you, it is extremely competitive. It is a really big deal, but you know, if you're doing good work and you believe in it, go ahead and apply because it's an incredible deal. Many will enter, few will win. We've had some amazing people come out of it. One of the best known people that was uh, a creative resident who's doing extremely good work and really making a name for herself is Sid Weiler. Um, check her out online as well. And if you have any questions, I'm sure not to speak for Sid, but I think that she's good about answering questions about the program. I've seen her doing that before on social. Um, I think she got a lot out of it, and uh, that really shows in how she was able to develop this body of work over the course of a year as well. Um, so, yeah, we've, we've had the privilege of meeting those people. It's been amazing. Oh, yeah. And what's my best friend? She does the paper books. Like, paper the books. whole book was a pinhole camera. Oh, I don't know. Oh, her that name escapes me right now because okay. of like, the jet lag. Yeah. That's um, a good excuse for us, by the way. Kelly. Kelly, Kelly Anderson. Oh, I don't know Kelly. Okay. You have met Kelly? Kelly is amazing. Yeah. She was one of she was one of the first. I think they have seven residents every year, and the year goes by fast, and then I lose track of who's been in it. But um, every time I meet these people, it's amazing. At the last Max in um, Vegas, I met 
the residents who were the 2017 residents, every single one of them blew my mind. Um, very cool people. Somebody asked if I'm ever going to make toothbrushes. Uh, the answer is not soon. <laughs> um, if the American Dental Association gets in touch with me and they want to pay me exorbitant amounts of money to design toothbrushes, then that might happen. All right, I got to show you aura. What color should that be? Make the aura, let's see, what's, what's a good like compliment a big old shine for, the, around. For, the, uh, for the pink? Well, I mean, for the blue, I was going to say. Frame it in a circle. It's got uh, to be light, right? It's got to be light. Yeah, so know. should I play monochromatic again? Sure, whatever. Yeah, let's go monochromatic. So I mean, if you could just do some like some white bursts from the brush and leave it, it'd be fine. Okay. What do you want to do? How know. do we have time? We have, we have, I think if we spend five more minutes on the art, we should be okay to print them and bring them back. So let me just do some shadow work then. Do what you do. I'm going to sample a little bit of that color. Anita has a cool comment. Blue, green, like the Aurora, Aurora Borealis. So if it were like a light green kind of a thing, I guess that would be cool. Um, she needs to be on here too. She's dope. Anita Lima? Yeah. I don't know Anita. I think that's Anita. Is that the same one? Anita Lima. Oh, no. There's another Anita. Okay. I'm sorry about the mix-up, but yeah. We're mixing up our Anitas. Yeah. It's the classic Anita mix-up. This happens all the time. You all have done it before. Keep my Anitas to myself. <laughs> uh, we have a comment that I've heard from many art directors in the past that makes all of us uh, get an instant stomach ache. Uh-huh. Make it pop. Make it pop. I remember this comment coming from art directors and from clients I've worked with, and I would show them something, they'd say, yeah, I don't know, it's just something is missing, uh, make it pop, or have fun with it. One of my favorite comments that makes absolutely no sense uh, when you're working on some project and the client just comes back and says, uh, make it pop, or have fun with it, and I say, can you be a little bit more specific? Yeah. You know, yeah. do that thing. Right, right, right. Do that thing that other drawer, that <laughs> other drawer does. I'm scrolling up through here. I missed, I missed some comments. I want to see if we missed anything. Good question for Rob, for example. Uh, nope, we're pretty much caught up. A lot of things in here are just nice comments, compliments on your work, Rob. So Yeah, I enjoy the love. I enjoy that love very much. Yeah. That's all you get. Yeah. Who was it who said, I got nothing but love for you, babe? Uh -huh. Heavy I got D. Enough. Heavy D. Yeah, whatever. Rock. I got nothing but love for you. Uh, sorry, I'm showing my age, right? Nah, show it. <laughs> it's better than that mumble rap. I <laughs> have to agree with you on that. I'm sorry, I have got to agree. <laughs> I like some of the classic stuff, and I don't go much past maybe mid to late 90s. I'll get with some Outcasts, though. Outcasts, and they were doing good stuff all the way into the early 2000s. Yeah. And then Andre 3000 just did something. For his mother. Okay, right. I'm a fan. This is looking awesome. Yeah. Got two more minutes, though. Two more minutes. Okay, got Two it. more minutes. Just, yeah, man, just keep it loose. Whatever. I love it. Listen to me now. I'm being an art director. Shame on me. Do that thing. But I kind of know what I'm talking about. I mean, I've, I've, you know, I've been illustrating for a while. I can make some comments that are sort of useful, right? Yeah. I'll just say that. Rob, can we see your pencil up close? I'm going to GoPro it. Can we GoPro? Yeah. Ba-boom, ba-boom. Look at that. Ha-ha. All right, you got to get back to drawing. It's We're running out of time. It's running out of time. It's cray. It's cray. Pretty awesome. Um, she said, let's, do, let's throw that green in. All right, here's a, here's a question for you that is not art-related, but Rob has to answer this one. Go. Rob, who do you want to win tonight, Dubs or Rockets? Dubs. Dubs. There. I did work with the Dubs. Oh, sweet. Rob's done a lot of amazing stuff for the NBA, and now he's doing MLB. Incredible. Look at that. Look how quickly you just made that shape feel beautiful. This is solid. The color didn't change. That's why. I... Oh, you're going to put that green in there, right? Yeah, but I need to lighten that green up a it's little bit. It's got to be light. Yeah, boom, boom. Let's see what happens. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice. Whoops. Yep. Let's snap that back. Ah, snap snaps it. all the way back to a circle. Snap it. Snap into it. Using shapes is really useful. You can draw around the shapes. This is one of the cool things you can do in sketch and draw. Yeah, boy, Bay Area, somebody said. And I'm curious. Um... I know we don't have time, but I'm still curious. So Can we talk about the golden rule? No, uh, we are out of time on that. Let's not do that. Um, but interesting comment. More on that at another date. 
And um, yeah. So what I'm ready to do now is you can still see my touches. Yep. I'm going to have to settle. That's fine. This um, looks fantastic. Come on, guys. Give me a round of applause for a half hour masterpiece. We're going to try and get this on a sock right now. Can we get it on a sock? Michael, what do you think? No, no, no. It's close. It's close. All right, we're racing the clock here, folks. All right, so if we can go to my, if we can go to the computer here, mm -hmm. let's watch this Adobe. Let's put the camera on the laptop. Boom. There we go. Adobe Cadabra, right? So I'm going to hit that send the illustration, I mean, send the illustrator button, and then all of a sudden, blah, 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 blah. Are we synced up? Libraries are synced? Should be. Sweet. So Adobe Cadabra, we have to give, it's trademarked. Yeah, it's trademarked by... Mr. Rufus Deuchler, am I saying his name correctly? <laughs> yes. I, I, it's, it's, an amazing, it's an amazing name that I'm going to butcher, but we all know Rufus. Also now he's been famously called Uncle Rufus. Boom! So by Christine, so I think that might stick. Look at that. Yeah, Just crazy, like that, it's amazing. Goes from the iPad right to the um, laptop, and now we are in Illustrator, and we're going to make this into a sock. Sounds weird, right? So if you're joining us just now, a little late, you're wondering why we're we making socks, because we have a booth here at Adobe at the Off Festival in Barcelona where we are making custom socks yes. from your art that you're creating with our products. And uh, there's a line of people, sock line, make some noise. Sock is crazy, look at this. You socks. get moved up in the line if you make the loudest noise. Are you all in the sock line? Yes. This is ridiculous. We've got 20 people waiting in line to make socks. All workstations are full. I believe we've got like 12 workstations. Go yeah. Sure, here we go. GoPro it. Yeah. Hey, everybody, wave, 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 say hello. Hello from off. We are going to make some socks. Thanks, everybody. Awesome, Crazy. awesome. So right here on my screen, as you can tell, everything came over from Illustrator. All the layers, if I name my layers, the name of the layers and all that stuff will come over. What I want to do is I just want to go ahead and lock this in. Oh, the fidelity is good, too, so it's still all vector. Amazing. Got and you can, you can our, see all the paths. Is the template there underneath? Template is over there. What I'm going to do is <coughs> I'm going to be placing it to the template. Let's do it. Okay. And quick outline view so y'all can check it out. So yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go backwards again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as... And I get in the habit of saving it the same way all the time. So I'm going to save that Illustrator file, and I'm going to save it directly to the desktop just so we can remove it later on. Excellent. You're getting applause from the uh, chat, by the way. Yeah, let's go. Let's okay. I can move faster than this, but I'm half asleep. No, man, do it. Do as fast as you can. Now, I think this is the new default. I always click that compression off. I put my embedded IC, ICCs in there. Sweet. I, I work with a lot of transparency, so it'll automatically default those transparencies back to Excellent. a 100% black. All right, so, so I have the template. We've got the template, we can paste it in there. Yeah, so we're gonna take this, and we're gonna place it, not paste it. Place it, don't paste it. Tell your friends, okay? And don't be one of those people Kyle pasting. resource file. You should be placing instead of pasting. And you wanna be on the front or the back of the sock? Uh, front. Front, front and center. Place it, don't paste it, and stay in school. Don't do drugs, place, don't paste. Oh, uh, I wish I had see, more got, time. I would um, knock this out of the park. Um, let's go ahead and take all of this. And mm. Somebody mentioned Rockets Without Chris Paul. I got to tell you, Chris Paul's from my hometown now, so I kind of like him. Can change the color of this? Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Uh-oh. Are we having technical difficulties? Always. This is, this is Zilla. Oh, the template itself is what's causing it. It's got colors on it. We can just hide all that, right? Yeah, I'm going to lock it. And I can hide all that later. Um, I'll come yeah. down to this one. And then all of a sudden, I do uh, Command-Shift-V. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, it's there. Um, sample a little bit of that color, too. Saying that people think that um, they want you to share this artwork so people can do stuff with it. Ah, uh, no thanks. I don't want a bunch of uh, trolls taking the artwork that Rob created and making me look like a fool, because that will happen. Um, also, by the way, this is Rob's creation. Let's all respect copyright. Rob can do what he wants with it, but yeah, copyright that's, Rob's, that's Rob's thing. 
We've got Alice, Helena, and Rufus getting ready for the next stream that's coming up right after this. Thank you, Adobe Live. Let's have you wrap all the way around. Oh, sure, man. I think, that, I think that'll work, right? Yeah, from front to back, it should be dope. Sweet. Perfect. Yeah, and let's go ahead and hide all that other stuff. Ta-da. We got to send that bad boy to print. Yeah, we need to do it now. So we'll All right, go ahead so and what save. do we do? Just send to print? Send to the USB. USB? To the USB? Mm -hmm. Okay. So save we're saving it. This is like a mad dash, folks. And we're saving it to um, this little guy. Drop that down. And make sure it goes to the USB key. Um, is it called uh, Tony or is it Tony? Tony. Okay, click on Boom. Tony. Save. And say okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, my bad. Now we're just like... Yeah, running all into each other. I think it's saved. I think it did. Can we pull it out or should we eject it properly? It's ejected from the final. Oh, yeah. So I think it's saved. All right, we got to eject it. Uh, go to the desktop. Where is it? Where is it? Where, 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 where are you? Where are you? Finder. Finder. And eject that bad boy. Boom. All right, let's see what happens, friends. And it, could, it, oh, could, it could work. It's running the print. It could not. Whatever. Um, it, it's not coming in first it's if you finish the race. That was insane. All right, now, you want to talk about speed. <laughs> so, no way, man. While we're waiting, <laughs> I thought, man, it's, I got to do something. So No way. We're going to do just a Robzilla. So, Rob, no I'm going to look at you. Why don't you tell people about your ESP or your, your work for it was ESPN, right? And, and that, that is that what led what led to the NBA stuff? Uh, the NBA stuff was led on by soccer. Yeah. Yeah. So I was doing some work with DC United. Um, that was my boot camp. Right. So that was my boot camp. Um, I learned all the ins and outs. I learned all the tricks using the iPad just for having a tight turnaround. Yeah. With that, so amazing. Um, the NBA came from um, one of the folks being a follower on okay. on Instagram, and um, he just sent me a note saying, "Hey, look, we would love to work with you." It didn't say, but everybody yeah. says that. Everybody images. says, "Hey, we'd like to work with you." Yeah. This one, you know, like I need the. It's doing what? Look at this guy. Oh. Oh. Man. oh, what happened? You need to be flipped. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's backwards. Yeah, we didn't use any text. We don't care about that. It could be whatever. It could be like that. All right, Rob, take take a look at me for a second here. I want to just I want to see that beautiful mug. Oh, oh. I gotta get the shape of those glasses right, folks. So I'm working in Adobe Photoshop. Michael Che. Michael Che. Michael Che. Everybody. everybody. Michael Che. Everybody. I almost, I almost called Michael Che yeah. from. If you from speak French, I will tell you. I think il est incroyable, vraiment. Oui. Il est mon héros. All right, so let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Got that. Oh, man, so much personality. Yeah, so then, no. what? So th how did that evolve then? That relationship? Because it, it it started small, but now you're all over the place with these guys. Yeah, right? I'm gonna be all over the place pretty soon. Um, I'm a keynote speaker at the ML MLC Connect conference. And that's gonna be where and when? It's gonna be in Chicago, end of July. So I get to talk to all the mm -hmm. creatives from all these different teams. Dang. So. And you're kind of a celebrity in that world now, man. Everybody knows you. You've been doing video work. You've been doing illustration work. Nah. I'm, all across the board. I'm still a teacher, man. You well, know that feeling. Being an educator is yeah. more important than anything, I think. Still a teacher, high school. And cool what are stuff. you teaching in high school? I teach um, 35 millimeter film photography. Now that's kind of a departure from digital. <laughs> so I get to show teenagers ranging from ages 16 to 18. Or if they stayed back 21, <laughs> how to load an old school camera and use it. Yeah. Develop their own film and develop prints from it. Nice. And do you still uh, miss working ever with traditional materials? Or is the digital realm just so wonderful that you're cool with it? I'm trying to find a way to get both of those realms married. Yeah? Yeah. Let's marry both of them. There's, there's a couple of people who just stick strictly to traditional. Yeah. Or analog. We can call it that now, can't we? We can say analog. Yeah, yeah. analog. That's what it is. And, um, yeah. Like, mix both of them together. Let's go. 
I gotta bring the say, best of each each one of them together. Whenever I pick up a piece of charcoal and start drawing, um, there is something extremely satisfying about working that way. Mm -hmm. But that is exactly the reason that I got into making brushes was I wanted to as badly as or as much as possible, excuse me, I wanted to be able to recreate that sensation, you know, in a digital environment. I know it's not totally possible, but um, I feel like I got somewhere with it, and it was, it was pretty okay. Yeah, pretty cool. So, all right, let me see that. Man, that beard is insane. I want so badly to grow a beard. Do it. I tried. What happened? Didn't work. <laughs> what didn't work about it? It never filled in. It never uh, filled in. Yeah, give it some time. I did. Just, the hairs just did not grow. And then I had this funny thing where um, I shared a cab with these, these cool uh, Danish guys um, on the way back from the conference uh, the first day. Mm -hmm. And the dude I shared the cab with had this really great beard. And I said to him, wow, I love your beard. I wish I could grow a beard. And he's like, well, guess what? I work for this company um, based out of Denmark where we help men grow beards. I said, what do you <laughs> what? mean? And he's like, we've got these products where um, apparently it's like this serum or something. Yeah. And it, it makes these little micro holes in your face and they put the serum in there and apparently it helps the hair grow. <laughs> I was like, no, this, this no, is not no. a thing. <laughs> what's, the learn, what's, what's the long term effects of that? I don't know, man. That's I looked crazy. it up and for real, that's what it says, that they, grow, they help you grow uh, beards, so. They give me a dollar off every sale. They can name that Zilla. <laughs> the truth is, nice. The truth is though, like my wife, would be very upset if I grew, but she's not into the beard, so. Yeah, mine is upset about this, too. Really? But you've had it for so long, and it's such mm -hmm. a signature mm -hmm. thing, man. That's, is, that's what's even more upsetting. Oh, man, come on. Gotta go with The beard's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's transform this bad boy. I'm gonna move it over. Got some Robzilla in the hizzy. All right, boom. Rob. Yeah. Sweaty Rob. I've been working. Oh, we're all working. Sweaty Rob. But this is a good job. We got a good job. All right, let's see. What's going on in the chat here? Hey, fellow teacher. Sweet. We got more teachers. Yeah, teachers man. unite. Yes, Board indeed. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, te teaching's where it's at, folks. Educators should be paid as much as professional athletes or more. Thank you very much. That's, that's my little political statement for the day. I don't know if that's a welcome comment, but I'm going to say it anyway. Three How are we doing on time? Three minutes. Three minutes? Three minutes. Three minutes? Shout out to Hellcats. How we doing with our how we doing with our um, our socks? I wonder. Oh, look at that! Yes, that is such a cool shirt. Oh, this is the guy right so here. So Clark Orr, I expect some free stuff. I expect some free <laughs> stuff. Clark Orr, free stuff. Free stuff. Nice. All right, I am gonna switch it up here. We're gonna grab this bad boy. Yep. And we're going to size that down. And we are Shout out to all the Apple Pencil Pushers, too. Indeed. I'm about to jack your name up, Mark. But he created these wraps. It's pretty cool. Mark Canesso. Who's that? The guy who made that awesome? Yeah, he's, a, he's a type artist as well. He's a typographer. It. Love it. Cool, all around cool guy. And I left the stickers at home again. I got some Apple pi um, Pusher stickers to give out. Oh, sweet. I might have to do that at the airport. <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah, do it And at I'm the definitely going to, you got to hook me up with this guy because I'm going to get a couple of wrap. wraps. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. We'll talk. You got some new ones. They're all white with just like regular text. Nice. Dope joints. Dope, dope. Got me wanting to do some Zilla wraps. Okay, cool. Adobe live. Oh, did you hear that, folks? Okay, so at the next episode coming up, we are going to have the socks printed and we can show them. The amazing socks Rob drew in literally 30 minutes. Yeah. Insane. A full portrait of me. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. Cool stuff. And here's my little tribute to you, man. I know this is this is super fast. Going off. It looks like a picture, like there's a picture of Dilla that's oriented the same way. Really? Yeah, right before he died. All right. Well, that's the best I can do in, uh, what, Love it. 10 minutes or whatever. Love um, it. We've got just a couple minutes left. Let's look at the chat here, see if we've got any questions. Dad yeah. jokes. Yes, I know. I always do my dad jokes. I'm trying to think, do I have a good dad joke for everybody? 
I can't on the spot. I'll do them too. That's hard. Do you have yeah. any off the top of your head? No, nah, none. It's funny because like I'll just drop a dad joke when I'm relaxed, but here on camera, it's hard for me to just think of a dad joke. Mm. Can't do it. Can't do it on the spot. Yeah. That's pretty hard. I'll tell you my, my, my one of my son's favorite jokes. How about that? Go for it. All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. <laughs> Interrupting Moo. cow. Yeah, yeah, it is. Everybody my knows son does joke. it too. All right, folks, I want to sign off. Thank you for joining us at OFF. Thank you, Rob Zilla. And I hope you guys had fun. And stay tuned for the next one because you're going to see some socks. Bye. Let's go.